A timeline can be the perfect tool to tell stories that runs over a period of time. It could be for several years or it could be just for a month. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is that you have got the chance to uh, show what happens within this period with uh, pictures, with text, with sound and with video. I'll show you how to make a timeline in uh, the open source tool Timeline.js that is a free tool and it builds on uh, information you put in a Google spreadsheet. The timeline will look like this when it's finished on your website. Of course it depends on how many pixels you've got in the width but in, on my blog it looks like this. And here you've got the chance to jump from event to event, look at video, hear sound clips or look at pictures or read text. And in the lower part you can see where you are in the timeline. Before you can start building your timeline, you have to get some accounts uh, for your material. First of all, you got to have a Google account uh, for building the spreadsheet and a Flickr account for the photos, a YouTube account for your video, and a SoundCloud if you want to use sound as well. You might use other platforms than, uh, for example, YouTube or Flickr, and you can do that. Uh, these are just examples. You have to start going to the Timeline JS website. On the front page you have uh, the chance to see a lot of great examples on how other people and organizations have used uh, timelines. So you can get some inspiration there. But now you go down and click on Make a Timeline Now. And when you click there, you go to a page where you can see a step-by-step -step instruction on how you do this. So it's very simple. You can see down here um, in the end at step 4, you can see the embed code. And that's uh, the code that you need in the end to... Uh, to paste into your own website or your blog to get the timeline there. But we'll get back to that later. First we'll go to step one and click on Google Spreadsheet Template because you have to make uh, your uh, timeline uh, in this template. So you click there and um, then you, uh, you see the, uh, the Google uh, Spreadsheet Template and you go and click on use this template. When you click here, the template is um, saved on your Google Drive. And uh, now you can just start filling out the template. Now you're ready to work with the Google Spreadsheet. You might be a little overwhelmed when you look at it at the first time because there's so much text and some numbers in the tables. But, but actually, this is only to help you to show you where to put your text and your links. So you can just start in the upper corner and put some information in the table. First, in the uh, upper left corner, you have uh, the start starting date of your timeline. And you could put uh, the information about uh, when it starts. You can also put an ending day date of each event, but uh, you don't have to. I'll show you that a little later. Then you can uh, write a headline for the event and you can put some text next to it and um, then you can put your links to your Flickr photo or your YouTube video or your sound. You can um, write credits if you want to, to uh, who's made the video. This first uh, line is colored blue and it's only to indicate that this is uh, the entrance to the timeline. So the first line up here is uh, actually the first page you meet when you open up the timeline. I'll just show you how uh, the template looked when I fill, had filled out uh, my timeline. As you can see I have um, filled out uh, the starting date and uh, headline and the text and um, some links to YouTube and to Flickr and uh, to SoundCloud and then I have uh, credited myself for making the videos and as you can see uh, I have written in the, the blue line, the upper line, that's uh, 
the entrance to uh, to the timeline. And let's have a look at um, how it looks at um, on my blog, the finished timeline. I'll just go and find it here. As you can see, this is my timeline. You can see um, the title, you can see the text, and you can see the picture. And underneath you can see the different uh, points in the timeline, the different events are shown below. And that represents exactly the same as the upper blue line in the template. It's very easy to link to your photos and your videos. You just go to the place where you have your photos, you take the URL and you copy it, and then afterwards you paste it into your templates. It's very simple, as easy as, as that. And then in the finished uh, timeline, the, f the photo will show up. So this is the way you're going to fill out the template. You'll just uh, fill out with the rest of uh, the photos and the texts. And this is what gives you the possibility to scroll in your timeline. When you have uh, finished filling out the template, you're ready to publish your timeline. And you go up in the left corner and under file you find uh, the command publish to the web. And you click there. And then now you can see a new window and you have to uh, click on automatically uh, republish when change changes are made. That means that if you make any changes in your template, they will show up in the finished timeline on your website. So click there, and uh, below you can see the URL that you're going to need <coughs> to, uh, to publish the template. So you copy this URL, and then you go back to the timeline JS website, and um, here you find uh, the place where you're going to paste this, um, this link. So you can see here, step two is exactly what we, what we just did. Uh, publish to the web and uh, copy um, the spreadsheet URL. You copy it into the step number three. And then actually you have some more options. You can go and change the width and the height of your um, of your of your timeline. We'll not do that now. You can go and experiment a little with that later on. Right now we just uh, want to see how it looks when it finished and. Uh, this URL is uh, the example that uh, the timeline J is used. So I'll just try and show you how this looked in the preview. So this is how it look if you go and publish it. Right now it's only a preview. Uh, if you want to publish it, you go and copy it from uh, copy the embed code from uh, step number four, and you jump over to your own website. Or your blog and then you have to paste it there so I'll just show you how you, you do this you, you copy the your the embed code you um, paste it into your blog and then you can see how it's shown on your blog and this is um, how the embed code from uh, from uh, timeline JS example is shown on the blog and you can see that I can click between the events and I could go and look at video, I could listen to the sound or look at pictures or read the text. So this is how it's made.